Relax sweater that I knit for my daughter. It is a free pattern by Tin Can Knits. And today I thought I would share with you how I adjust a neckline that might be slightly too big. So I think on this particular sweater pattern, the weight of the sleeves are what's pulling down this neckline to be wider. I did use a superwash merino yarn to knit this sweater. I had fingering weight held double. And I think what has happened is just from wearing and gravity that this sweater gets pulled down and this neckline ends up being bigger. So this technique can be used with any sweater that has a neckline that needs to be cinched in a little. And I use a crochet hook for this. And then um, this is the yarn that I have remaining from this project. And I will be holding that double. So basically I'm gonna do a slip stitch all the way around. And because you aren't picking up live stitches, I'm picking up from the cast on edge. If I mess up, it's too big still, or if it's too tight, I can just pull it out very easily and redo it. Now, sometimes you may want to pick up every stitch. Sometimes you wanna pick up every other. So you could come up with a little repetition in your head if you want, like pick up um, every stitch and then skip the fifth, or pick up every stitch and skip the eighth or something like that. If you wanna divide it evenly, just look back at your um, cast on edge number and divide that by however many you wish. Um, I am just going to get my yarns together here. I have them in a little dish so they don't roll away. And I'm going to start from the back center and join my yarn. So I'm gonna go through this V here on the cast on edge and then pull my yarn through and just leave a little end to weave in later. It doesn't have to be particularly long. I'll probably do maybe four inches. Okay, and then I'm pulling that yarn through so I have a loop. I'm gonna hook my yarn in and create that first stitch there. Then I'm gonna go in the next one, wrap the yarn around, pull it through, and then now I have two loops on my hook, and then I'm gonna pull that one through the first. So that is a slip stitch. So I'm gonna do a second one, third one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then after ten I am going to skip one. So then I'll go over that skipped one and then continue slipping. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I didn't mention it earlier, but the size of hook I'm using is an H or an eight, which is the equivalent of five millimeter. I did knit the neckline of this sweater um, on a US six knitting needle um, and then the body was a us eight um, knitting needle and the us eight is the equivalent of a five millimeter hook i don't think it matters too much for the hook size but of course if you have a smaller hook then your stitches will be tighter together versus a bigger hook they'll be farther apart so i'm going to continue all the way around until i come back to where i started and then um, we'll kind of see where we're at. So I've made it all the way around back to where I started. And what I'm going to do is just slip stitch into my first slip stitch here to kind of join the round and close it off. It can be a little tricky to get the hook in there. So wrap the yarn around the hook, pull it through, and pull it through that last one. 
So now I'm going to cut my yarn and just pull it all the way through and I'll weave in my two ends here and I'll show you the neckline now is much less stretchy and granted you do want to have room to fit a head through but this gives the slip stitch crochet edge gives a lot of structure to it and even when there's pulling or gravity weighing it down it won't stretch out as much so again if it ends up too tight just take it out and um, you can redo it when you redo it you can either change to a bigger crochet hook or when you pick up your stitches you can do less skipped stitches which means you'll have more slipped stitches around if you find that it's still too loose then you might want to increase the frequency of skipped stitches meaning you'll have fewer slipped stitches around the neckline i hope that was helpful happy knitting